Hey guys, what's up? This is Jinx Rose, and welcome back to Morrowind. When we left off, I was looking for the Bonebiter bow for the leader of the Urshalaku camp, and I was right in the last episode. It is in the Juno, Juno burial, which is the furthest burial in the place. I'm going to use the Scroll of Vitality here and now, which is the last real healing thing that I've got. I will go back to my uh, ring, my ring of healing, which is not fully recharged yet. I will quick save before I go inside of the place, and then we'll go inside the Juno burial. Um, the last time I came in here, I got killed, like, instantly, basically. Let's re-equip a torch, and let's take out this guy. This is the guy that took me out instantly, but he has a different weapon now. I think that was him. Um, no, he was further. It was the next one that I come into contact with. He took me out in, like, two hits. So, we'll see what we can do about taking him out this time. If he's even in here, I think the game loads differently, like, each time. He's got a big-ass weapon. Uh, took him out. What kind of weapon is that? A steel claymore, which I don't need. Um, okay. Let's just hope that we get lucky enough to take out the rest of these skeletons. I'm not even going to mess with the mummies that I know are going to be in here. I'm just going to make my way to the very end to the Wraith of Sin Sapur. If I can find him. This, I think, is him. Target resisted magic. Good, great. Good to know. Thanks. Thanks for letting him resist all my freaking magic. Oh, God. Oh, man. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh-uh. I don't have anything to heal with. I don't have anything to heal with. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Okay, he's resisting magic, but I think I can take him out. Got him. The Wraith of Sensipool. So, the Bone Biter Bow of Sensipool, Sensipool, whatever his name is. Uh, I took him out. I'm not going to explore the rest of this place. I'm sure there's some really cool stuff. I don't want to run the risk of dying. And I don't have any more healing magic. I will check around a little bit. I'll grab this probe. Um... Let's fortify magic. Ooh, a, a repair hammer. That's nice. I'm not going to be jumping down there. I'm not even sure what is down there. I think, yeah, I think we just did it, guys. Now we just got to get back to the Urshalaku camp, which could take us a little bit. Probably not too long. And go and turn this mission in, and then it'll be like, Oh, man, you really are the Nuravarine. Because that's how they talk in my mind. <laughs> I know they probably don't, really, but... It's probably talking my mind. Alright, let's get on that, yeah. I, I don't want to fall down here either. That would be a bad, bad thing to have happen. After finally completing the mission. In fact, now that I've completed it, I'm going to quick save one more time. I quick save all the time in this game. For a couple of reasons. One is you die really quickly and easily in certain cases. And then the other reason is that this game has crashed on me like four times now. Because it is an old game. <laughs> And it does that kind of stuff. Alright, let's get out of here now, finally. Back into the Karma Burial, then to the Lateris Burial. I don't want my torch getting ruined, so I'm going to put that over here. Which means that you guys, again, probably won't be able to see much, but... You know, that happens. And then, oh god, mummy, right in front of me. That actually scared you, you guys should have seen me. I literally just jumped. Alright, but I did level up here. That's cool. I think that takes me to a level 4? No, level 5. And my agility got lowered uh, somehow at some point. So let's toss a torch back on so that you guys can see. But also, fortify magicka. Invisibility, invisibility, restore fatigue, restore health. Oh, I had a restore health potion the entire time. Restore intelligence. I'm looking for restore agility. As soon as I get to somewhere, like if I get back to Belmora or something, I'm sure they'll have exactly what I need. And we're heading up to the Astral Burial, and then back to the Urshalaku camp. We did it, guys. It only took forever. I could have done all that in one episode. Ah, there goes the torch. And now it's hard as hell to get out of here now, again. Okay, that must have been a rat or something. Anyway, we won't need the torch. Even if you guys can't see right now, it, you'll be able to see very soon because I'm going to be heading back out to the Ashlands 
Any minute now. <clears throat> as soon as I make my way up to that door. Ring. Restore already. So yeah, I'm completely out of health potions, which sucks. But I'm going to steal this torch. Because I'm heading back out to the Ashlands. I wish this auto-saved every time you like enter a building or something. It does not, though. So we need to get back to the Ursulaku camp, which is just northwest. So I'll just head this way. Should have no problem in getting my way back. Okay, and heal up a little bit. And then I will equip my thief ring just to make me a little bit faster. Need to get rid of some of these scrolls and stuff that are absolutely useless. <clears throat> Heading back to the Ursulaku camp. And then my Ursulaku friends are going to be like, Oh my, you dirt it, oh my god. <laughs> Ah, and then we will continue on with the main quest afterwards. Uh, I don't know exactly how large this main quest is, but I, I do know it doesn't take that long to get through it. The main quest, and then there's so much other stuff to do. This game is lagging on me like crazy for no reason. All right, back to talk to the Ashcan. Yes, sir. Sul Matul. Have you completed the initiation right? Yes. This is my father's bone biter bow. You have completed the initiation right. I name you Sojourn the Black Widow, clan, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow and bear it with honor. You are a friend of our tribe and may rest in the Urshalaku bed. But do not harm other tribe members or take their things. And now I will fulfill my other promise. Go to the wise woman's yurt, and Nabani Mesa shall examine you and test you against the Nereverine prophecies. Okay. So I'm actually going to sleep until healed now that I can sleep in their beds because that's useful. Um, let's raise my speed, strength, and agility for now. Oh jeez. Oh, come on. Come on. Why is the Dark Brotherhood constantly messing with me? I already took care of like four of these guys. Oh man, I don't have anything to heal with. I'm gonna die. <sighs> okay, let's equip a ring of healing? Where is it at? I don't know where it is. Um, I'm gonna die, guys. That's just, that's gonna happen. Um, I don't even know where that ring is. Engraved ring of healing, there it is. Oh, that was so close. And now I can take all of his stuff. And I'm still not overburdened, which is nice. I'm going to heal again and hope against hope that I do not have to deal with another one of those guys. Perfect. I did not. Good. So, wise woman's yurt. And then have her test me against the prophecy. Her yurt should be right here. Yep. <laughs> that was close. Nabani Mesa. Go ahead. Do you have questions about the Nereverine prophecies? Has you come to see if you pass the test? Sure. You are not the Nereverine. You are one who may become the Nereverine. It is a puzzle and a hard one, but you have found some of the pieces and you may find more. Do you choose to be the Nereverine? Then seek the lost prophecies among the dissident priests of the temple. Find the lost prophecies, bring them to me, and I will be your guide. And take these copies of the Stranger and the Seven Visions. Now I have told you all I know. Go, think on what I have told you, and do what must be done. So lost prophecies that have been lost, blah, blah, blah. And then the Stranger and... This is the best known of the Nereverine prophecies. We call it the Stranger. I'm not going to read all that. Um, and then the seven visions. The full title of the prophecy is Seven Visions of Seven Trials of the Incarnate. Listen, and I will tell you the verses. I don't want to hear the verses. Oh, yeah, let's let's read these. On a certain day to uncertain parents, incarnate moon and star, star reborn. So I meet that. Neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of flesh before him flies. And I don't think I meet that. In caverns dark, Azura's eyes see... Azura eyes... Azura's eye sees and makes to shine the moon and star. A stranger's voice unites the houses. Three halls call him Hortator. A stranger's hand unites the Velothi. Four tribes call him Nereverine. He, he honors blood of the tribe unmourned. He eats their sin and is reborn. 
Seventh trial. His mercy frees the cursed false gods, binds the broken, redeems the mad. One destiny. He speaks the law for Veloth's people. He speaks for their land and names them great. Cool. So, I'm not entirely sure what my actual quest is right now. Seven visions. Okay, the wise woman... The wise women know that some Nereverine prophecies have been lost, but the dissident priests of the temple study the Ashlander Nereverine prophecies and record them in books. Perhaps the lost prophecies can be found there. Nabani Mesa has asked me to go to the dissident priest, get them to show me the books, and go and to tell her what I find there. This sounds like something to mention to Caius. Maybe he'll know how to contact the dissident priest. So, <clears throat> uh, one thing I'm going to do is just use the scroll of Almsivia intervention just to make things quicker. Should take me to the nearest major city and then I'll just pay my fare on a boat or a silt strider to get back to Balmora. If it loads ever at all. In fact, I think... Oh no, I'm not at Balmora. Where am I? Nisus. Nice. I think this is the first time we've been to Nisus in this let's play so far. So I can take the silt strider back to, I think, uh, Aldrune and then Balmora from there. If I remember correctly. So, travel to, yeah, Aldrune and then Balmora. I don't know why it goes all the way to Sedanine, but doesn't go to Balmora. Sedanine is much further. Anyway, so Aldrune, then Balmora, then talk to Chaos Casetus. And see where I'm supposed to get out of my face, guy. Jeez. On to Balmora. Must speak to the dissident priests. And take forever for this to load. Also, to lighten my load, I'm going to be selling a bunch of stuff here, creating a bunch of stuff using my alchemy goodies. Kill this rat. Oh, no, he's already been killed. Uh, so while we're here, let's just do let's just do this. Let's uh, craft a crap ton of potions. They don't have to be good potions, because I'm just going to buy my healing potions. So let's create a bunch of crap, really, basically. Oh, that doesn't even make anything. Come on, make something. Restore fatigue. And my potions constantly fail as well. Which makes zero sense, but you know. Whatever. Lightning shield, that's cool. And I actually created it, which is cool. I did not expect to be able to create it. I should have sold the emeralds, but... In fact, yeah, I'm going to sell the emeralds. I'm not going to be making any more potions out of emeralds. And alchemy skills 25 now, that's good. Deidre heart's worth quite a bit too. So we're going to save the Deidre heart, save the emerald, save a diamond if I have one on me. I don't know if I do or not. Ah, make something good. Anything good. Of course not. Of course it's making nothing good for me. No, that doesn't make anything. Once my alchemy skill gets better, I'll be able to make way better stuff. So, that's going to be useful. This raw glass, I'll make something out of that. Oh, no, I want to keep that. Keep emeralds, keep rubies, all that good stuff. Train personality and nothing? Okay. Well, well, come on. Let me make something. Restore fatigue. And some more restore fatigue. The saltis, or saltrice, what is it called? Saltrice. You can make a bunch of restore uh, fatigues and restore healths out of that, which is good. Let's use these bone meal. And continue creating nothing. Okay. Now we'll sell the stuff we got off of the Dark Brotherhood guy. Sell his armor and crap. And sell the rest of the potions that we've got. And have him repair a bunch of crap for us. All of our stuff needs repairing. So barter. And we will sell him as much Dark Brotherhood stuff as he can buy. And I think he can buy everything. I'll sell him one helm. Because I'll keep one for myself. And that's as much as he can buy. Now we can go sell this Drill Curus To maybe this guy. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, uh, 
the other guys I want to wait and sell them like the potions that I made and books and crap that I don't need so we'll sell him the drill curus ooh that's 5,000 mm, no I'm not gonna sell him that or these for 4,000 apiece I will equip this bow no not sell I was gonna equip it we can sell him the Dweamer coins and the armor's hammer and the soul gems I won't need those just yet um, oh no let's buy these back and that and some of these see they make you a ton of money alright let's go sell the rest of the Dweamer coins we're gonna have to find a bunch of people to sell to or wait around for a long time really is what it boils down to I can sell the potions to the potion maker, to the alchemist. I can sell the books to the uh, bookshop keeper. So these people I'm just going to be selling like Dweamer coins and a bunch of crap I don't need or want. These arrows, that works. Ring of lightning bolt, 1 to 25 on target. I'll keep that. Don't need the extravagant stuff, so we'll sell all that. And some of the potions, maybe? Or some of the books? I don't know. Some of these scrolls, actually. So, can't sell much to her. Scroll of Dadella's Knack. Charm. Uh, I'll keep Charm. Actually, we'll sell that. Elemental Burst Fire, we are going to keep. And we'll sell that one. So, Seller Max. Sorry, guys, that like half this episode is going to be a shopping trip in Balmora. But I want to get my inventory narrowed down quite a bit. That's why I don't do this very often. But it needs to be done. So, weapons. We can sell him our regular steel longbow. This does 1 to 30 and 1 to 25. So it does more damage. Plus, it has damage agility. So yeah, we'll keep that. We'll sell the Spear of Light. Sell the Dagger. Sell these arrows and just stick with those. And we have to keep the Daedric darts. Luckily for us, they weigh like nothing half a pound a piece or something like that. Amulet of Recall I want to keep on me. Amulet of Slow Falling is almost completely unnecessary for me so we'll sell that. So Blind. Uh, summon Skeletal Minion? Nah, we don't need that. I will keep Ring of Lightning Bolt. Ring of Bouncing. It's not worth much. Weighs barely, barely anything so we'll keep that. We'll keep the Thief Ring and the Engraved Ring of Healing. Um, sell the Sujama. Tavani Bug Musk I want to keep because it'll help us with uh, bartering later on. Cure Common Disease we'll sell. Cure Poison we should probably keep it. It drains our magic at the same time. We'll sell the Cyrodiilic Brandy uh, and anything that drains we will go ahead and sell. Even if it has some other good qualities. Fortify Magicka I don't care about that. Invisibility Bargain I don't want. Superb I will keep. Lightning Shield I will sell. Restore Fatigue, we will sell that. Keep those. Uh, da, 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 da. All these restores I don't need. Uh, I do need the Restore Magicka, actually. I'm all like, I don't need any of these. Restore Speed I don't care about. And I think we're getting close to not being able to sell him anything else. Levitate for 30 seconds is good. But levitate for 45 seconds is better, so we'll just keep that. Slow fall we will sell. And Divine Intervention we're keeping, keeping. Mm, scroll of Greater Domination. Command Creature 10 levels, Command Humanoid 10 levels. We're absolutely keeping that. Scroll of Invisibility I could care less because I have some potions of an A potion of Invisibility and I won't be using it very often. Uh, unhinging we're keeping. Red Despair. Uh, fire Damage I'll keep sell and sell and then maybe buy something from him because I've gone over the limit with him so mm. yeah restore health we'll take that and some more restore fatigue we'll take that and he still owes me money well I think I don't think I want anything else from him how many arrows do I have any yeah so we'll buy 86 
and that should take us up to 200 total. And then I'll just go sell her max and sell him everything. And then equip the 200 arrows that I've got. And then equip this bow. And let's go talk to one last person really quickly. We will go talk to this guy again because I sold him a bunch of stuff. Um, so I think he's probably out of money completely. Yeah. So I'll have to find somebody to sell the the caress to. For now though, however, I'm gonna come up here and put it in this chest up here inside what I'm considering my house, my loft that I'm keeping. Um, well I want to consider it my loft. I'm surprised that I haven't come in here already and picked this lock and started using the chest. Um, anyway, lock pick success. We'll just use this chest. I'll keep all this crap in here for now, but I want to get rid of these but still be able to reclaim them later, as well as the drill Curus, which will save us 27 pounds, which is quite a bit. And that is going to be it for this episode, guys. When we get back, we're going to go ahead and uh, talk to KS Casadis about the Dissident Priest. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>